I never thought of you as the caring type, Athena. <sighs> Where's Vaughn? I... I don't know. Vaughn? Vaughn! When you have to get rid of a Vault Hunter, just bring in two Vault Hunters. You boys got everything? Yes, ma'am. Lilith will be real happy to see this wretched piece of assassin trash hauled in. You needed Athena as much as I needed her out of my hair. I'm glad we were able to help each other out. Do you feel that, Athena? Now, it's over. That is one scary lady. Quiet, amigo. You want her to hear you? So, where's the last piece, little one? We have a vault to summon. Leave her alone. Tell me where it is before more of your friends get hurt. Starting with this hunk of scrap right here. Okay. Okay. It... It's there. On Helios.
The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager a chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're th you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. <sighs> I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Two. Three. Go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. 
Stop it, please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <sighs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Enough about yeah. Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Hey! Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I don't understand. What did Vaughn ever do to you? Seeing as I saved his life, cured his paralysis, allowing me some peace is the least he can do for me. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. We'll remember this. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <gasps> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. <laughs> <laughs>